For whatever reason, you found this video because you want to change your Minecraft version. To do that, we're going to start off in the launcher here. And then at the top, go ahead and uh, click on this installations button. This will show you every Minecraft installation you have. I do recommend making sure that all three of these boxes up here in the top right under versions are checked. That means just every vanilla version and every modded version you have installed will show up here. And when I say installed, I mean specifically that you have installations created for. Because uh, there are uh, installations here that I have installed that you won't actually see. I'll show you that here in a second. Now, changing your installation is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is come up here and click on new installation. You can name it literally anything. I'm going to name it simple game hosting because that's the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server with mods, plugins, or anything else. And then once you've named it, come under the versions section here and click this drop down. This is how you can actually change your version. So by default, it's latest release. But if you wanted to play the latest snapshot, you could select that. If you wanted to play a Forge installation, you could select that. If you wanted to go all the way back, like let's say we're going to go way, way back here to Minecraft 1.4.3 snapshot or release 1.4.6, we could do that. And there's obviously everything in the middle here as well. I mean, tons and tons of different versions. But like I said, I have a version installed that doesn't show up on the installations tab. What is that version? Well, it is this one right here. It is 1.17 dot one optifine right so why doesn't that show up well because i deleted the installation but that doesn't delete it from my your computer entirely it's still there so you can click on it and then you can create in the bottom right and now i have this new simplegamehosting.com installation that is the 1.17.1 optifine version you can do this with a forge installation let's say you wanted to update or change your forge version you can click edit there and select a different forge version that works perfectly fine too. You could do it with other mods or anything like that. The world is kind of up to you in that regard. With that being said, that's how you can change your Minecraft version. But before you click off this video, did you know that you can actually play Forge mods and Fabric mods without having to worry about switching out the mods folders or anything like that? Let me show you this really fast. Let's say we wanted to set up an installation to where instead of this linking to our .minecraft profile, meaning that if we install Fabric mods here, we can't play Forge mods. Well, if you click on this installation, well, if you hover over this installation, click on the three dots and click edit, you can actually go to this game directory section and click browse. Then from there, you can create a new folder. Just make a new folder, name it fabric. Now this fabric installation, when you click save, has its own installation, its own folder. Meaning once you play and then come back, when you hit this folder here, it will have its own mods folder. This is separate from your Forge mods. This is separate from your Quilt mods and especially separate if you do the same thing for them. So we could come in here to Quilt and do the exact same thing. Hit Edit, Browse, make a new folder and name it Quilt. And now we have ourselves a Quilt folder, right? And you can keep all your mods separate. And as long as you're playing that installation, you're just playing your Forge mods or you're just playing your Fabric mods or you're just playing your Quilt mods. A little simple thing that you might be interested in there if you did want to install multiple mods from multiple different Minecraft mod loaders or even multiple Minecraft versions. The world's your oyster with this and you can get really creative, but it's something worth noting in this change versions video. So I wanted to do that. And by the way, if you want to start your own Minecraft server, no matter what version you want, whether you want mods, plugins, anything like that, check out the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Simple Game Hosting is our very own company and we strive to make Minecraft hosting simple and easy. One click installation of mod packs, great guides to help you along the way of customizing your server, adding mods, plugins. It can all be done super quickly and easily at Simple Game Hosting. And should you have any issues, we have live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your own Minecraft server. Customize it how you want and on any version you want. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.